Hi, Mark Savage here on the floor. Short bike videos. What are we talking about today? The good old Speedo drive. If you own the Silas Apache, um, Superbike RMR, the Lex Moto, all the same generic brand, there's a common fault that goes with all of these. And it's so simple to fix and so simple to actually prevent as well. So what is it? Well, the Speedo drives are reasonably cheap anyway. And the mechanism just turns around and turns around it here and that's what makes your Speedo go round. The cable itself, here, and the Speedo, they don't go. It is this mechanism, and of course this one's gone on this bike. What happens is where they're manufactured, water gets in here. And once it gets in here, it goes down through the hole and into here. They don't grease them up very much, and then the water starts going in there, starts to rust, and we've got road salt here in England as well, most countries, and it just rusts it completely up, and then it just jams up, and you have no speedo. When this jams, it can knack at a cable occasionally, but generally it's this. Around about 20 to 30 pounds by a new one, and a simple fix. But then there's a second thing people do, that actually over tightens it when they get it back on again and break it again. So how do you stop this? Good old grease. Don't be a lot of money one. Wad on your finger, whack it all in there, and then, in here as well and this will stop the water getting in now if you've already got the bike and it's working I suggest take the old cable out only gonna be a screwdriver here to get this screw out and then what a load of grease in here and pop it back down again it should last longer but if there's water already got in there it will foul eventually so top tip grease inside the new one you're gonna get and grease inside there as well. Wad it in, it's not going to hurt it. And putting it back on, this is the second mistake. This shaft here, do not over tighten it. Tighten it so it's just there and the wheel can still spin freely. Big help. The next one you want to do, where my socket is now, this bolt. Getting it out may be a pain, so maybe put the WD-40 on there. When you're putting it back in, grease it up again and put it back in. That will mean the next time you've got this wheel off, change the tyre, it won't jam up because that's what happens with these bolts. They lock in there and you've got to drill them out, weld a pane, maybe a new shock and everything. So, best friend on these bikes for these components, generic cast oil but just good old fashioned grease. Don't be frightened to use it too much. And there you go. You're back on the road, speedo working. At least you know what's gone wrong this time. Not the clocks, not the cable, but the speedo drive. Nice little short bike. I've got over 400 videos on my channel. Type in Mark Savage. And then what you're after, and hopefully I've got it on my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll keep making them. Take care of yourselves on the road.